Good morning folks, Paul is here once again. Just thought I'd start my morning off here with changing my strings, because I haven't changed my strings in a while. If you'll notice, there's no high E string on this seven string guitar, and that's not okay. So what I did was talk to my buddy Tom, Tom Winspear, Winspear Instrumental Products, Electronic Products, I don't know. He's got a lot of stuff coming out now. The guy sent me this little bag of guitar strings, I suppose. So let's open this guy up and take a look because these are the ones that will be replacing the ones on my seven string. So let's take a look here. More black packaging. I see. Whoa. Here we go. Windspear. Instrumental company. I guess I was wrong. Electronic company is not right. Instrumental company. So this little black box feels really nice. It's really soft. The, the engraving of custom gauge electric guitar string is really nice. And he also wrote down the gauges. So, you know, I don't forget. I have a 62 to 10 for my seven string because I needed a little bit more. Because uh, uh, I like to tune down and go. Uh. So let's take a look here. Oh, very nice. So it also comes into another, there's a lot of packaging involved, but it did come from Anglia after all. This is nice. Like I want to save it. It's so nice. That's Tom for you. Highest quality, damn everything. Here we are. Whoa. Whoa. What? Oh, that's sick. So he individually put a little piece of aesthetically appropriate paper with each gauge so you know exactly what string you're putting on. Well, I mean, that's one way to do it. If you don't have the color dance, I mean, that's a Diodario thing, right? Damn, dude, this is really cool, really slick. So I will admit, I have been working with Tom on some very, very special little guitar picks. Uh, these are made out of resin. It's a purple and black. And because resin is kind of like always gonna look a little different, it comes in some different colors. Isn't that special? I think it's really beautiful. So I have been working on those. It's not that I'm getting paid or anything like that, but I definitely endorse Tom and what he does with, uh, with Windspear Instrumental. Just, it's so good quality. I have a cable back here I've been using for ages. It's one of the crystal cables or whatever it is, and it's red and it's so perfect. It's, it's unbelievable. It's very transparent. Um, you'd need to talk to uh, someone who really knows cables to really understand why these are awesome, but like they're awesome. So I'm excited. I'm getting loaded up on all the good uh, Windspear stuff here. So let's uh, rip off the old strings, which were, well, these old strings are SIT and the high E string didn't last more than two and a half weeks and I'm pretty abusive. So like that's important to me, but they retain their brightness really well. And I was really impressed by that. So it's not the SIT are, you know, bad. It's more that they didn't last under a lot of abuse from me, but I demand a lot of my guitars. I'm practicing all the time, teaching all the time, recording literally all the time. So like, it is but it do, you know what I mean? Like they're good strings, it's just didn't work for me. That's all, no big deal. So time to try some new ones. All right, so I've changed over to the Wind Spirit strings and they're doing really, really well for me. I put them in about an hour ago now. It's been a bit of a time jump, haha. -ha. Uh, because I can do that on video and I've switched out to uh, grind into the Axe FX and the Fort Nameless Suite for a combined kind of dual amp digital tone. <laughs> Now this seven string has always sounded a bit more on the brighter side because these are cold sweat pickups which are definitely more mid to high focus. I keep on trying to add some bass but it doesn't add enough. So this might be a little bit on the shriller side but it's mostly to demonstrate that the strings feel and sound pretty damn good. Thank <laughs> you. 
sounds pretty slick, feels pretty slick. Let's check back in a few weeks here and I will talk about them again. If anything snaps, you're gonna know. And if anything doesn't snap, you're gonna know. So I will do a... Extended kind of review. I'll tune this back up to standard probably for next time because it's a little bit sizzly and, and trunchy for B flat standard, but I'm gonna end with a nice Morbid Angel riff. Hope you've enjoyed this little video and unboxing of strengths. I'm looking forward to receiving more of these for other guitars. <laughs>